Hello everyone and welcome back to Night in the Woods. So we've got a, an adventure with mom to look forward to. Okay, let's go. Let's skip work. Only I'm skipping work, hon. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. So where are we going with mom? I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and I when I were y when we were your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh. Cool radio tower? Lots of triangles. This is nice. Used to be a lot more trees up around up here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. That's unfortunate. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. So, what is this place? Ginny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s. There was this woman and her daughter, walking here, and the woman's daughter is in front of her, and then she's just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up, ooh. When a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hi hill, jeez. Yup, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... Whoops. Gone. So, wait, why are we here? What, you not up for a little risk-taking? Oh yeah, I can definitely see how May and her mom are alike. Ah! What's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm, how about that? Just a little ditch. <laughs> Ooh! Chimney? Okay, what is that? For some reason before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny. But slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. Well, I'll climb it for you then. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, is that the sun or the moon? I think that's the sun. It's like sunset-ish. Possum Springs in most of the valley. What does it look like? A quilt? Well, it's a cozy valley. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age. Where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks. And I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Huh. What do you think it meant? Hmm. Dream interpretation is a funny thing. I want to say that you felt like you were trapped here, maybe? Like you, you were trying to get out, but you couldn't. 
It just kept going on and on. I don't know. Feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey! Oh, thank you. Poor Jenny, though. Dang. I've, I've seen a video of a person falling into a sinkhole that opened up suddenly. It's, a. Uh, it shook me a bit. Oh, you drew the corpse down there. That's kind of messed up, May. Okay, is, is Pastor Kate around here? Can we chat? How's the thing with Bruce going? Okay, no one's here. Stained glass windows are really cool, though. Stained glass in general. I have a bunch of little, like, stained glass decorations that I got from, like, craft fairs. And I'm, I'm quite fond of them. The first one I got was a grasshopper, and I called him the Glasshopper. <laughs> It's mostly like little bugs and stuff, made of stained glass. They're cool. Hey Bruce, how you doing? Getting kinda cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm, I did that when my daughter was born. Oh, you have a daughter. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? That, that might have been a sensitive topic, May. Sorry. It's fine. So he does have family, but for for whatever reason, he does not live with them. Yeah, that's probably a sensitive topic. Hello. Hey, Jen. Hey, May Borowski. Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Yeah, I was wondering if this was, like, a relative of Greg's. Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick some stuff up from Greg's mom. Hauling back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? It is indeed. Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a crossbow too, I think. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. I was wondering what those arrows were. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. So I stopped. That is a good decision. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh, yeah, that'd be bad. 
Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see, come see me out in Bright Harbor. Sure thing. See ya. Take it easy. Okay, Greg's cousin. Thank you for clarifying that, May. Well, nice to meet you, Jin. Maybe we'll see you around a bit more. Are the, the weird people down here? Nope. Okay, Rat Babies, Lori, and then B, I think. And that's what we got left for today. Okay, maybe we should stop by and talk to Greg again so we can tell him about Jen. Yeah, I'll probably do that. And if nothing happens, then I'll just cut it out of the video. Because <laughs> that's a bit of a long walk. Alright, rat babies, let's do it. Why can I not feed them today? Are they okay? Are there just so many of them now that we can't conceivably keep them fed? Hey Lori, what's up? Talk to you in a minute. Oh, look at all these rats. There's so many of them. Oh my goodness, we've created a colony. My babies have left the nest. Aw, so they've scattered around now. That's great. Good job, rat babies. I'm proud of you. Now just, um, please don't chew on any important- What? There's a thing down here? How did I never know this before? Well, I can't do anything with it, so... Now just, rat babies, don't chew any important wiring and we'll be good, okay? Okay, Lori. Oh, I failed. Oh, hello. I've never seen you before. Hey. Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? Isn't that when you, like, play music on the sidewalk and you have, like, your instrument case open so people can throw money in? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Okay, I was right. Yay. Are you gonna give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. Alright. That was a fun conversation. I like how there was actually violin music when we were standing close to them. Lori, what's up? Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone. And I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's it about? Um... Lady finds a window in her wall. That wasn't there before. And it's like looking at her backyard. But it's always sunset. And there's a guy standing there she can't quite see. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. I mean, it's, it's a good start. Really? I'm creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Where'd the idea come from? 
I like a lot of horror movies that are really gory. But gory isn't always scary. So I was thinking of what's scary. And I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new. Or maybe you just never noticed it before. And there's someone strange very nearby. And I don't know. That reminds me of this one post I saw years ago online about somebody who had like they discovered like a secret like cupboard door in their wall or something and they opened it up and they they found like candy wrappers from the Halloween that had just gone by like somebody had stolen candy and eaten it inside their walls. <laughs> I don't know if that story was true or not, but it was kind of creepy. What? Nothing. Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya. Later. Oh, we're done with Lori already? Darn, I wanted to hang out with her more. I love Lori. Alright, I'm gonna pop on over and talk to Greg real quick. Alright, Greg had nothing new to say. Let's go talk to B and possibly her co-worker if he's here. No, he's not. Oh yeah, he got a job at the, uh, the... I forget what's called, the diner. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money. And, like... Not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well? Ah... Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Uh, it's been about 20 minutes. I don't know how long the graveyard will take. Let's just have a short video today, sorry. Okay, well, let me know. Alrighty. So we had a fun little outing with Mom. Bruce is still here. We met Jin, Greg's cousin. That's cool. Okay, what, what are we gonna find at the graveyard? We're gonna find some graves, of course. Probably some historical information that B will be pretty interested in. I, I still don't think there's actually a haunting happening. I don't know what the deal is with that person we saw on Harfest night. But... I don't know how they go around the fence, though. That's that's what's stumping me. And was that person actually kidnapped? Like, who was that? We don't know. Has anyone been reported missing? Not according to the police. But there are also those those kids that like travel around on the train. So, was that one of them? Because I feel like it'd be easy for one of them to go missing. So I, I don't know if I should actually be concerned about a crime that happened or not. I guess we'll just have to find out. So, thanks for watching, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!